Well, would you look at that? Six o'clock, and we haven't sold as much as a fern. You know what? This is it. Don't even bother coming in tomorrow. You don't mean. You don't mean. What? What do I mean? I mean, I'm closed. Forget it. Kaput. You can't. Kaput. Extinct. I'm closing this guarding customer forsaken place. Uh, Mr. Mushnick, uh, forgive me for asking, but has it ever occurred to you that maybe what the shop needs is to move in a different direction? What Seymour's trying to say, Mr. Mushnick, is, well, we talked about it for both agreed. Seymour, why don't you run it back and bring out that strange and interesting new plant you've been working on? You see, Mr. Mushnick, some of these exotic plants Seymour's been tinkering around with are really unusual, and we were both thinking that some of his strange and interesting plants prominently displayed and advertised to attract business. I'm afraid it isn't feeling very well today. There, now isn't that bizarre? At least. Crap, what weirdo plant is that, Seymour? I don't know. It looks like some sort of fly trap, but I haven't been able to identify it in any of my books. So I gave it my own name. I call it an Aubrey II. After me? I hope you don't mind. You see, sir, if we take a strange and interesting plant like this one and display it prominently in a window like this, then, then maybe... Maybe what? Do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? Just because you put a strange and interesting plant in a window, people don't suddenly just come walk in... Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice that strange and interesting plant you have here. <laughs> what is it? It's an Audrey too. I've never seen anything like it before. No one has. Where did you get it? Well, remember that total eclipse of the sun a couple of weeks back? I was making my way down the wholesale floor of this street that day. And I stopped by the stop hole by this one Chinese man. Very dark. And then I heard this strange humming sound, like, like something from another world. And then the lights came back, and this strange plant was just sitting there. You know, just nestled in uh, among the zinnias. I could have sworn it hadn't been there before, but the old Chinese man sold it to me anyways for a dollar ninety-five. That's a fascinating story, and an even more interesting plant. Oh, well, I may as well buy $50 worth of roses while I'm here. Fifty dollars $50? $50? Yeah, can you break a hundred? Uh, no, I'm afraid we've, 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 closed, we've closed the register for the day. Oh, well, I'll just have to buy twice as many then, won't I? Twice as many? Twice as many? Twice as many? Yes, ma'am, right away. Our turn, darling, kindly fresh those nice lady one hundred dollars with our very finest Red American Beauty roses. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir. That is one strange and interesting plant. <laughs> Can you believe it? Well, don't just stand there. Quick, quick, quick. Put that thing, what do you call it? Uh, an Audrey too. Put that Audrey to the window where the passersby can see. My God, I never believed it. Children, I'm taking us all to dinner. Oh, I left Mr. Meshnick, but I have a date. With the same no good, Nick? I'm telling you, Audrey. You don't need a date with him. You need major medical. He ain't a good clean kind of boy. He's a professional. Audrey, what kind of professional drives a motorcycle and wears a black leather jacket? He's a rebel, Mr. Mushnick, but he makes good money. And besides, he's the only fellow I've got. Enjoy dinner. Good night, Seymour. Good night, Audrey. Poor girl. Well, are we still going out for dinner? You're not going anywhere, Seymour. You're staying here and taking care of this sick plant. I know it's fading all the time. I told you it's been giving me trouble. It just wilts like this. The Audrey 2 is not a healthy girl. Strictly between us, neither is Audrey 1. Mm -hmm. If only I knew what species it was, what genus, but, but it's nowhere in any of my books. Well, my advice to you, Crowborn, is you bigger, better figure it out and fast. Look what this exotic little beauty did for business. I know. So work, Seymour, nurses play back to health. I'm counting on you. I know. You do? I do. So fix! Good night. Come on, Tui. Oh, I 
supposed to do with you? Audrey and Mr. Mushnick, they just met you, but, but I've been going through this with you for weeks. Grow and will, spurt and flub. Are you sickly little plant, or just plain stubborn? What is it you want? What is it you need? I've given you plant food and water to sip. You've given me nothing but heartache and hurt. I'm begging you sweetly. I'm down on my knees. Oh, please go for me. I've given you plant food and water to sip. I've given you pot ash. You've given me zip. Oh, pot, how I missed you. Oh, pot, how you tease. So please grow for me. I've given you southern exposure to get you to thrive. I've pitched you back hard like I'm supposed to. You're barely alive. I've given you levels of moisture from desert to mud. I've given you provides and mineral supplements. What do you want from me? What? Ah, damn roses, damn thorns. Look what I did to it. Hey, you opened up. I wonder what made you do that. you do that? Well, I guess a few drops couldn't hurt, as long as you don't make a habit out of it or anything. <laughs> I've given you plant food, I've given you rain, looks like you're not happy, unless I open a vein. I'll give you a few drops. If that'll appear